you uh, everyone so uh, I started to look into the IoT that was called at the time machine to machine I think 25 years ago now it was my dissertation at the university my master in telecommunication engineer and uh, since then um, I have uh, worked into and around M2M then became IoT in various positions uh, I was an, IoT, an M2M engineer in my first position in Vodafone uh, and then I moved uh, around more the policy side I worked in the European Commission around machine-machine uh, and broadband technologies and then I uh, worked around carry on on the kind of policy side the technology policy side uh, and then I moved on the market business strategy development around IoT uh, and M2M across various companies here in the UK and also uh, European companies. Um, most recently, I'm uh, embracing the teaching of, of what I've learned in 20 years of experience in various uh, uh, ways in the IoT. Um, it's not just teaching about the IoT, but I, I look uh, at the IoT within a digital transformation strategy. So. Uh, what I'm going to, uh, what, I'm, what I'm teaching at the moment is not really the technicalities of the IoT, but it's more the impact of the IoT uh, and uh, uh, what that means for organizations uh, and uh, which are the implications could be business implications, sustainability implication, ethical implication, and so on. So. Um, I'm planning to, let's say, to have uh, three parts this course structured in three main parts. Uh, so the first part is to uh, explain what the IoT is, and I will take an historic view. So I'll start from one of the um, probably first seminal papers that uh, was published in 1972 uh, by a guy called Mark Weiser, uh, who was uh, exact, uh, at Xerox Park research network in California and in his paper imagine uh, for the first time probably this environment of sensors in which they can do stuff and uh, you can as a human interact with it so I'll start from there to give a bit the sense of where we are going uh, a bit of uh, around machine to machine as a as a probably the first real implementation of what the IoT uh, could be and then slowly going towards what IoT is today I will uh, explain what an arch architecture in IoT is, what do you need to do in IoT solutions. I'll, I'll try to be very technological um, agnostic, I, I, I'll try to be more business oriented rather than technological uh, languages. So the idea is to show what do you do for doing an IoT solution, which, compo which technologies you need, why do you need certain technologies rather than others. The IoT is not a technology per se, it is a, a technology framework because it's made of very of different technological components. So I'll go into that and then from that I will go more into the business management side of it. Um, so what do you need as an organization to develop an IoT strategy for example? Uh, what, what an IoT strategy means within a digital transformation strategy, what do you need for doing an IoT solutions, which are the implications, the barriers, the challenges that you will perceive and you will encounter. Uh, and then I will have a session about, just some, some sessions, about the applications of the IoT. Where do you see the IoT today? Uh, I mean, the IoT is strictly ubiquitous, pervasive, is everywhere. Um, it depends on the refinement of the, of, uh, the solution uh, and so we will also look a bit of um, how the IoT is evolving in, in, in a sense of applications because the IoT primarily does the monitoring of a machine. This is in the, in the, in the idea of uh, uh, the, most, the, most, the most common idea but the next step of the IoT is the automation but the IoT on its own cannot do the automation, it needs the convergence with other technologies and so and then I would say okay the next step is the convergence between technology frameworks, so the IoT and AI if you want to do certain things, the IoT and blockchain if you want to do other things and so on. Um, uh, and then the uh, uh, last part I will uh, be dedicated um, so 
what are the implications of the IoT in, in um, sustainability sense? So, can the IoT uh, help our challenges in the in the green in, in the green area that uh, and the climate change? Uh, because of the IoT is dealing a lot of data. What, what we are talking about here is data. Which are the regulatory privacy ethical implication in dealing with data. We are talking a lot about data sharing economies and so on, what that means. Uh, so, a brief introduction in, into that, yeah. Uh, the IoT uh, brings one essential thing, one fundamental thing, which is the move from uh, a product hardware centric uh, economy or product hardware centric business models to a data service centric business model. We are playing around data and therefore we change completely the approach. So in the moment in which, for example, we let's take an example of an MRI scanner, yeah, which is a very common quite example in the IoT community on explained chain. So in an MRI scanner is a is a very uh, uh, expensive machine. Yeah, in the past, the hospital used to buy or the, NH, or the healthcare delivery authority used to buy these MRI scanners, put in the hospital, and and they were staying there. <clears throat> and there were there was a cost, there was a maintenance cost, um, there, there was also the operational cost around it. Now, what you can do with the IoT, you have an MRI scanner who has the sensors on it. Yeah, rather than buy it, you can rent it one, for example. And then, if you rent it one, because you have the sensor on the MRI scanner, and the MRI scanner can give you all the data about it, how much uh, uh, data are you using, when, how frequently, all these can basically create new business models, new way of paying for the MRI scanner, and, and probably will become more cost effective for the, for the healthcare authority. So this, this is a fundamental change that the IoT can take because the IoT what it does. The IoT sends the data of an environment, gather it, exchange it, and analyze it, and then takes action on it. So, and, and these are all software based. Yeah, I mean, there is, a, there is the hardware. I'm not saying there is not the hardware, there is the connectivity, but the core is the software. So uh, uh, this then has a lot of consequences in business terms. So how do you charge? Can you charge per data, for example? Um, well, take the example of a smart parking solution. If you are a smart parking provider, how do you charge the local authority, the, the council, the Cairo council on using that? You probably do database, database business model. So I think this is the, the revolutionary step. The other step further up is, okay, now that I can monitor something and I have the data that enable me to observe that machine, yeah, and therefore take all the, con what is the next step? The next step is the prediction. I want to predict the behavior of the machine. In order to do the prediction of the machine, I need to have artificial intelligence element of this. Then I want to automate. So all this brings a new wave of, uh, of looking at business, uh, looking at, uh, at, uh, at the whole organizational behavior too.